Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and this is a short 10 minute full body morning yoga stretch. We're going to start in a wide leg child's pose, so knee, knees go out as wide as the mat. Walk your hands forward and fold down. Your forehead rests on the mat. Three deep breaths here to arrive on your yoga mat. And walk the hands back. Knees come together, coming into tabletop pose with the knees directly under your hips. For thread the needle, reach your left arm all the way up and twist, and then exhale, thread your left arm underneath you and bring your shoulder and your ear to the floor. The right hand can push into the floor right in front of your head. Push into the right hand to come back up, back to center, and let's do the second side. Right arm goes up on your inhale, twist, and exhale, thread it under, right shoulder and ear come on the floor. Left hand pressing into the floor right in front of you to keep your shoulders from rounding forward. So a nice spinal rotation. One more deep breath. Lift yourself back up to center into a neutral tabletop position. Flowing through our cat and cow next. Fingertips spread wide, middle finger points to the top of the mat. Curl your toes under and as you inhale, look out in front of you, broaden across the chest. Exhale round, let your head drop back of the neck long. Three more times like this, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, pull your abs towards the ceiling. And exhale, look into yourself. Last one. After your next in-breath, curl the toes under and press back into your version of Downward Facing Dog. So the knees can be bent or even very bent or straight. Really send your chest to your thigh bones. Activate your arms, spread through the fingers, press down through your index finger knuckle. You can slowly lower one heel to the ground, lifting the heel and then the other, pedaling through the legs, feeling a nice hamstring and calf stretch in the back of your legs. I love this pose and this stretch after waking up, it's so good.
Now lift your right leg up towards the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips. And then pull that right knee into your chest and step in between your hands. Left knee comes to the ground for low lunge, stretching into the psoas. Inhale, reach the arms up. Let your hips sink down slightly until you feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh. Breathe in. And out. You can always take your hands onto your front thigh, if that's easier for you. And then hands frame the foot, shifting back onto your back left chin as you straighten the right leg and flex the foot for a runner stretch. Pull the right hip back so the hips are square. Inhale, find length and exhale, fold. Inhale and exhaling, folding a bit deeper. Keep length in the spine, no collapsing over. Big hamstring stretch. Rebend into the right knee. Hands come to the floor and step back into downward dog. You maybe already notice a difference between sides just after this short stretch. And just take note of that here and breathe into any sensation you might be feeling. Lift the left leg up towards the sky, again bending the knees and stacking the hips. And then pull the left knee into your chest, stepping the left foot forward to come into a low lunge on the opposite side. Right knee to the mat, inhale, sweep the arms up, invite in your new day, huge breath in. Breathe out, sink into your stretch right at the front of your right thigh. Exhale, hands frame the foot, runner's lunge, shifting the hips back in space, left foot flex up to the ceiling. Pull your left heel towards you to square your hips and to engage your muscles. Inhale, get long in your spine first and then think of sending your heart forward as you exhale. Even if that means not lowering as far down as usual. Always prioritize a long spine so that you're able to breathe deeply into your chest. Bend into your left knee and then press back into your dog pose. Again, check in with yourself here. Maybe both back, backs of the legs feel more equally stretched. If not, that's totally fine too. Walk your feet to the top of the mat now for a rectal fold. Knees deeply bent, your belly can rest on your thighs. Interlace the hands behind the nape of your neck and then let the weight of your palms add a li little traction here. So no pulling, just adding the weight of your hands to feel a nice stretch along your spine and the neck. Release the interlacing, hands come to the ground. Now round up one vertebrae at a time, so low back, mid back, upper back, head is the last thing to come up. You can let the palms shine forward, eyes closed. Or take your hands at prayer in front of the chest, closing this practice. Take your last and deepest breath in. Exhale, release it out through the nose or the mouth. Namaste. Thank you yogis for doing this short class with me. 
If you liked it, please leave me a comment down below to share your experience. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. I put out new yoga classes every Sunday. Thank you again and practice again with you soon.